leader is recognized. I want to start out today with a little context. For more than a year, President Obama and Democrats in Congress have known as well as I do that every single taxpayer is scheduled to get slammed with an automatic tax hike on January 1st. And for an entire year, an entire year, they've been running out the clock. Think about it. For President Obama, there is no better outcome than for taxes to go up on absolutely everybody. Everybody. Now, why do I say that? Why does the President want taxes to go up on absolutely everybody? Because, frankly, that's the only way to pay for the big government this President wants. You have to raise taxes on everybody. The super rich, the rich, middle class, lower class, you name it, everybody has to have a tax increase. Because if all you do is whack the so-called rich, you only get enough money for about a week of government. If all you do is whack the super rich, you only get enough money for about a week of government. So let's be clear about, about this matter. He wants to soak everybody. And there's only one way to do it. And that is exactly what he gets if we do nothing. If that wasn't obvious before this week, it should be perfectly obvious now. I mean, here we are a week before Christmas, actually less than a week before Christmas, and what's the president doing? What's his quarterback here in the Senate, the majority leader, doing? They've been playing Lucy in the football with the American people for months. They've said no to every single proposal that's been offered to avoid this tax hike, including their own. They're running out the clock, moving the goalpost, sitting on their hands. They aren't doing anything. Well, I say enough, enough. The time for games is over. The president may want to soak the American people to fund his vision of a social welfare state, but we're not, we're not going to let him do it. Later today, Republicans in the House will pass a bill that protects more than 99 percent, 99 percent of Americans from the tax hike Democrats want to slap them with within two weeks. The House bill will protect 99 percent of America's taxpayers from the tax hike that's coming in two weeks. As I've said endlessly, we don't want to see taxes go up on anybody or anything. The problem isn't that government taxes too little, it's that it spends too much. The problem is, isn't that government taxes too little, it's that it spends too much. But the president is determined to leap off the cliff. Leap off the cliff. Well, we're not going to let him take the middle class with him. We're going to do everything we can to protect the American people from this scheme. And there's no reason in the world that Democrats actually shouldn't join us. I got a book, literally a book of quotes from Democrats saying they want to protect the middle class. It's the theme of the recently completed campaign. Well, here's your chance. Here's your chance. We're at the end of the line. We got one chance to put your money where your mouth is, and that's by voting on the bill the House sends over later today. It'll be obviously up to the majority leader to act. Will the majority leader act to protect the American taxpayers, or will he sit on his hands and do absolutely nothing? Will the Senate just sit back and watch the tax rates go up, or will the Senate act? Enough is enough. Let's get this done. Let's show the American people we're working on their behalf. It's time to act to prevent this tax increase on 99% of America's taxpayers. Mr. President, I yield the floor.